What's going on guys, Dividing here, and today we are back with another outro tutorial. This time it will be for this year, 2020. Now this one, this tutorial, just this outro, anyone can do. So you don't need any skills or any of that. It's going to be very simple, very easy. All the things I will be using will be in the description below. So make sure you check it out. Also the link to Kind Master if you don't have it. So, I showed you a video in the intro before the intro started, which is kind of weird. So this is how it looks like and we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna be basically making the same thing but we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm just gonna take out all of these files. So here we have a, a picture. So the picture wouldn't obviously be there. So first thing you're gonna do is create a new project. Then head to media. Then pick your background. So I picked my background over here. I downloaded it in Google. So you can pick any background, whatever you want, anything looks cool. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to add some motion to your background. So when I click your background, press this button over here, then click start position and then click end position. And you want to zoom in over there like that, like how it is over there to the center, wherever you want it to be zoomed at in the end. So it's going to be moving to the center like that. Now let's just increase the time here. Alright, so next thing you're gonna do is you wanna add the effect I've placed in the description below. It's your green screen effect. So it's pretty simple. Just get your green screen, you know, file from the downloaded link below. Or you could also not get this. It depends on you. You really don't have to. No one's gonna force you. So over here, let's just expand it. And then you're gonna press chroma key. After that, you wanna press enable. Then you want to make sure that the green part cannot be seen as you can see if i increase this this will be seen if i decrease it it will be gone so let's just increase it to a point where it will still be there but like not too okay so we're done with that now if you really can't do it you can also go over here to alpha or opacity and then you want to just lower it down a bit like that so it wouldn't be that clear Next thing you're going to do is you want to head into this button over here, press it, go to audio, and then you're going to do a fade out. So just fade it out, then head to video tab, fade it in so that your outro will have a nice opening and also fade out for a nice ending. So let's just trim this over here because we don't need it. And right now our video looks like this. It's uh, pretty, pretty boring right now. So next thing you're going to do, you're going to create a text layer. And you're gonna place in last video now you could either do last episode or last something or previous episode or whatever you want as long as it's something relating to last then you're gonna pick a font that you want so i got this from the kind master store and it's pretty easy to get that you just press store and then head to text so anyways once you have your your text over here you have two choices you can either put it in the center or you can put it on the side for the video i showed you it was on the side so let's just do that then you're gonna add an in animation so i use this one slide 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 enter slide right like this okay so we got that and it looks like this pretty amazing okay now the outro is spicing up so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another background this time it's gonna be white this is where you're gonna place your last video extend it to the point where the video ends make it a little bit bigger over here place it below last video and just move last video a little bit more to make it centered with the box okay there you go so you're also going to want to add an in animation to your to your background that you just added enter slide right still so it's still going to look like this bam all right, next thing you're gonna do is you wanna add the subscriber button. Now, this will be in the description below, so do not worry. So over here, I have it set in my favorites so that I could access it quickly since it's in a folder that's very far. Anyways, never mind me talking about that. So you wanna add an in animation. Now you don't have to follow it uniformly that everything will be enter slide right. You can do it anything you want. I just like it like this. So you wanna put it below over here and let's just center it more so basically what we did so far is we made a text layer background and a subscribe button 
with all animations as enter slide right so you just want to fix that however you want so we get this so that's basically it we could even end it there but in my in my video that i showed you i still had a leave a like and a like button so we're gonna be making a new text layer that says leave a like or you could put any text that you want it doesn't necessarily have to be leave a like you want to set the font of course do not forget the font please next you're gonna turn off the shadow oh yeah i forgot to tell you guys turn off the shadow for the other text also i'm gonna place it here leave a like and then of course do that now you also have to add a in animation this time it doesn't have to be slide right but i use slide slide right so it looks like this okay so next thing you're gonna add is the like button which will still be in the description below do not worry okay let me just let me just let me just find it over here okay we got our like button and let's just place it there give it a little bit of a crooked feel like that bam okay it's looking pretty good and let's just extend this right there and then you could configure it any way you want so let me let me just do this and like that okay and of course you're gonna add an in animation now you doesn't necessarily have to be sl enter slide right i'll just do fade for this one and then you're gonna be adding an overall animation and then floating or drifting works fine so it's gonna look like this so as you can see it's floating and the outro looks very very nice and the last thing you're gonna need to do is to add the music okay and then you just want to trim this over here next thing you're gonna do you can keep looking at it it depends on you and then all you have to do is just exit go over here and then export that's basically it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you could get to 10 likes that would be awesome and of course you can check out my other videos minecraft tutorials mcpe shaders hexit rl craft so see you guys next time goodbye peace